So, guys, we're working on a cheap little $50, $60 lawnmower. Got it at the auction. Um, funny thing is, I gotta keep an extra lawnmower around the house. Seems like constant. In case mom blows hers up over there, and uh, she did this time. Really nice Husqvarna. But anyway, had a little fire under the hood. This had the same motor in it, same drivetrain. It might as well be a Husky. So, fired this mower up, had to clean the carb. I thought I would show you this. This is kind of a quick little thing that I discovered. So, fired it up and it was running. I've heard this before and I thought, man, why does a mower run like that? You're getting spit back out of the intake. So, it's shooting and backfiring. I thought, that's pretty strange. I can't say I've seen that one before. Been around quite a few of these mowers when I was younger and I thought, why is it backfiring out of that? And how could it still be running? And you rev it up and it gets worse and it still idles. And I thought, man, how can it run if it's got a hole in the valve or the valve's not shutting all the way? How are we getting compression? So I thought, oh, I'll just pop this valve cover off real quick. Take a look. And I started playing around here with the rockers and I looked and I thought, hmm, that bottom one's got a cap on there. I guess we can call it a shim in a bucket like... Japanese motorcycle, but uh, I looked and I thought, hmm, that top rocker is awfully loose. This one's pretty tight. Let's still move it. So I rolled it over and I thought, hmm, that stroke isn't very much on that valve. So what's going on here? And I thought, oh man, that is really loose. So at first I thought, ah, maybe something's going on with the push rod. So I flipped it up and I thought, oh, it's missing a bucket on there. Look at that, completely missing. So, I couldn't see it at first because it was back to the right quite a bit and covered in oil. So these, they come off and they go back on. Of course, we'll put a new one on there, but I think the original problem was, this was definitely out of spec meaning it was pretty loose, allowing that bucket to fall out. So before you throw your mower away, guys, and it's doing that, making a backfire and a popping sound coming out the intake, check that. Very simple fix. Also, keep in mind, these push rod guides that go in there, they're plastic. They do wear out and they come out. And they get lodged in there. And they allow the push rod to rub on the side of the actual head itself. So check those while you're in there. Pretty easy fix as well. Hope this helps.